Hey, how's it going guys? Chris here with another Battlefield 5 video. And if you've been dying to get your hands on some of those higher tier level 20 weapons, and you've still not got them yet, then hopefully this guide should help you out quite a bit. Though do keep in mind that the tides of war guns that come out over time are going to be a lot through their own specific challenges and requirements. When it comes to the launch weapons however, the way you unlock those in Battlefield 5 is quite different to the way it was in Battlefield 1 as instead of having to save up war bonds or in-game currency, which you'd then use to spend on the specific guns, which become available as you progress through class ranks, well this whole idea is pretty much scrapped, as the in-game currency in Battlefield 5, which is company coins instead of war bonds, is now used to buy other in-game stuff, like customization options and specialisations. All of the base guns in Battlefield 5 that came out at launch are all unlocked by simply progressing through the individual ranks of each class, which all have specific weapons that are exclusive to that class. So let's just say for instance you'll want to get your hands on all the bolt action rifles, you're basically going to have to grind through all the recon class ranks and unlock them all as you level up. Progressing through these said class ranks to get the guns is pretty simple, as all you've got to do is just keep playing as the class you want to level up and grind as much XP as you possibly can whilst doing so. Not exactly a mind boggling system to wrap your head around. Eventually, so long as you just keep playing the game and use the different classes, all of these base weapons will unlock naturally and you'll actually get a new gun after every few class ranks you progress through. But I know there's going to be a lot of people out there that want to cut to the chase and get all of those guns ASAP, so they can start building their ultimate arsenal and apply those specialisations. There isn't really any ultra fast way to speed up this unlocking process, as you're still going to have to essentially grind XP and gradually move through those class ranks by just playing the game. But there are a few things that can help you do this a lot quicker, most of which are linked in with gaining larger amounts of XP for the specific classes while you play. I'm going to be running over some of the best things you can do for the individual classes to gain extra XP a little bit later on in the guide, but first I'm going to simply highlight a lot of the general things that are going to net you larger amounts of XP that you should definitely focus on doing as much as possible to rank up faster. So there's quite a lot of ways to get points and do well in Battlefield 5, just like in the past games, and it's not all down to who's got the best KD ratio or who's got the most kills, though taking other players out definitely helps as each kill can get you up to 120 XP each, along with other bonuses being applied such as an extra 25 points for killing with a headshot, and even more if you manage to get double, triple, quadruple and of course overkills, along with squad wipes and assists. So there's lots of reasons why you should definitely go for kills whenever you can, as it's going to seem like the most obvious and probably most fun way to rack up that XP. But with that said, kills around objective points like conquest flags are going to be a lot more valuable as they're going to drastically boost your XP by a hell of a lot, because you're always going to rack up more points by playing the objective. If you take out another player while you're attacking an enemy flag, you'll gain an extra 100 XP for performing an offensive kill, on top of the XP gained for actually killing them, pretty much giving you double points, and if you're defending your own flag from an oncoming enemy, then something that will probably surprise you is that you'll be given an even bigger bonus of 150 XP for a defensive kill, on top of the points gained from damaging the enemy. So in a lot of cases, you can actually get over 270 XP just by killing an enemy player while you're defending your own flag, and that's not including any extra bonuses that might get applied too, like for planting a headshot. You'll get 50 points just for a defensive assist, as opposed to a measly 10 points gained for a normal kill assist, and so it's safe to say that if you really want to maximise those experience points, playing around objectives is a great way to do so, as you're going to get a lot more XP faster than if you were running around in between flags taking down players there. Obviously you're going to have to leave the capture zones eventually to attack other flags, but I definitely advise spending more time within the capture zones whenever possible, and don't be afraid of missing out on XP for defending your own flags, as you can actually get even more points by just defending and keeping enemies away than you would for killing enemies hanging around within their own capture zones. A lot more XP can be farmed at flags and objectives, as you'll get 100 points just for neutralising an enemy flag, and another 200 for actually capturing it along with an extra 50 points for every couple of seconds while you stand within the zone as you work towards capturing it too, which is great if you're an offensive player who likes to play the objective. Another really big way to maximise your XP gains and help you get those guns faster is by playing in a squad, but more importantly remembering to support that squad as much as you possibly can. Even if you've not got any mates to squad up and play with, it's still always best to join in with a group of randoms and perform as many squad related actions as you can as in a lot of cases, you can earn twice as many points just by being in the squad. Most of the normal stuff you'd do to help people out, like resupplying, healing and reviving them, is pretty much doubled if it's a member of your squad that you're helping, 
and if you can all stick together, complete objectives and assist each other as much as you can while you play, you can potentially rack up a hell of a lot more XP, pushing you up higher on that scoreboard and closer to unlocking the rest of those guns. You're even going to get extra points for doing things you wouldn't even think about, as spawning on a squad member nets you an easy 10 points for basically doing nothing, and if a squad member spawns on you, which they tend to do quite a lot to get closer to the action quicker, then that's also going to give you another 20 points, just for doing nothing too. Over the course of a match, all these points add up and contribute to your XP count at the end, but if you really want to boost it, you're going to get tons of points for completing orders given by your squad leader. The squad leader should be constantly giving you orders to complete, usually this is just to defend or attack a specific objective, and once an order's been given, you'll see green arrows highlighting the flag that needs protecting or taking. By simply defending or attacking that objective, you're going to get an additional 200 points by completing a defend order, and 100 points for completing an attack order, which is added as a bonus to the points you'd naturally gain from neutralising and capturing that flag, along with those bonus points gained for killing enemies around that objective too, which can all add up to a pretty big amount in the end. Completing these squad orders can give you bonus XP for doing something you were going to do anyway, which is why it's so important to keep issuing orders if you're the squad leader. And if you're in a squad and your squad leader can't really be asked issuing orders, then just ask for an order on the Comoros wheel, and they'll be forced to either give an order out for you to complete, or instead, get kicked from the squad leader role and replaced. So I'm briefly going to run over some of the class specific tips now that might help you get more XP faster whilst using the different classes, starting off with the Assault. The Assault class is a pretty aggressive one that can really help you take advantage of all those extra points gained from attacking objectives, as you'll have access to some good close to mid range guns that are going to help you exceed closer to all the action. Conquest is a pretty good game mode to choose for all the classes, but the Assault class especially, as there's lots of flags to rush to and from, and you can pick off enemies and take over objectives fairly effectively with the weapons and gadgets the Assault has. Just remember to stay within the capture zones as much as possible while you're attacking them, and make completing orders and capturing objectives your main focus. You should also attempt to take out as many enemy vehicles as you can too while you go about your business, as this can also be a great way to rack up lots of XP fast. You've got plenty of explosives to damage them with, which are going to net you points, and you'll get more for destroying vehicles and killing anyone inside, which can sometimes be several players, so an extra few hundred points there. And because players have to run through an animation to actually leave their tanks in Battlefield 5, this means that it's easier than ever to kill drivers and their passengers before they have a chance to escape. For this reason, it might be better to concentrate on ranking up your assault class while you're on maps with lots of ground vehicles, as you can get yourself a lot of easy points by simply blowing them up as you rush to and from objectives. Moving over to the medic class now, this is probably the easiest class to rank up quickly, as medics have lots of different ways in which they can earn XP fast. And other than attacking and defending objectives or killing enemies, actually doing the stuff that medics are supposed to do is going to help keep that XP momentum rolling in between normal play. Because all medics now have access to the syringe, this frees up one of your gadget slots and allows you to bring more smoke to the fight, which is extremely useful to use in combination with that syringe, to revive down teammates safely. Reviving teammates will grant you 100 points, which can actually more than kill in an already weakened enemy and reviving a fellow squad member gives you twice as many points at 200, which is a lot of easy points, especially if you're surrounded by a bunch of squad mates that all need reviving, another reason why you should probably follow them around more. But don't forget about those medical pouches too, as these are going to not only resupply teammates with health packs if they need them, counting for 10 points normally, 20 if given to a squad mate, but if you throw one over to a weakened teammate, you're going to get healing points too, basically giving you points for all the health your teammate regains whilst healing which can also mount up to quite a lot of points. With the combination of reviving, healing, killing and capturing objectives while assisting your squad, you can rack up tons of XP in just a single game, so long as you take advantage of all the tools you've got. And because you have access to close ranged SMGs, it's usually best to play with an aggressive mindset, stick around the assault players and take over objectives, helping people out as you do. As for the support class, which can cater to both passive and aggressive playstyles quite well, defending flags in conquest or breakthrough can be a great way to rack up kills whilst you're in your own capture zone, getting you a lot of defensive kills, which are going to give you an extra 150 XP each as a bonus. With that said, you could also roll up with your squad or a bunch of teammates to tack objectives and gain more points there, and while you do so, constantly resupply them with ammo, giving you 10 points every time you do. A very simple and quick way to keep that XP flowing. 
especially if you resupply a squad member, which once again doubles the amount of points you're going to receive. Though one of the easiest and often forgot about methods to farm XP for the support class is just to simply build fortifications, which can be done a lot quicker than with the other classes. By building a base and fortifying your conquest flags, you can get loads of XP easily, which is all going to contribute towards ranking up. Just equip the fortifications tool, run over to a ghost outline of something and hammer away. Very straightforward. Plus these are going to help you defend that flag and gain more points whilst doing so too. So last of all is the Recon class, which can often seem like one of the harder and more time consuming classes to rank up, but really there's still lots of things you can do to get that XP fairly quickly, without having to be a pro marksman. Probably the easiest way to get lots of XP fast is by using the spotting tool to highlight oncoming enemies, and then taking them out alongside your teammates. Because you can very quickly skim over lots of enemies and spot groups of players effortlessly around objectives and at choke points, this not only makes it easier for yourself and team to then go and take them all out, but you'll also get loads of XP in the process. The sniper combat role is a great one to use on your loadout, as you'll automatically spot players when you shoot them, meaning if someone else finishes them off, you'll get more assist points for spotting them. Once again, something that's going to help you get more XP. Though while you're spotting and killing players, it can often be best to stand within your capture zones and defend an objective from advancing enemies, to net you bonus defend points which is often why playing Breakthrough can be a great way to rank up the Recon class, as your enemies typically come from specific directions and their attacks are pretty easy to predict, with them being funneled down certain routes and pathways. But one thing you should probably consider is planting a spawn beacon close to an objective, or somewhere players might want to be, because every time a teammate spawns on it, you're going to get an additional 30 points, which can get you quite a lot of easy XP just by putting one down, especially if your squad use it over and over again, giving you more and more points, as they do. So although you still have to do a fair bit of grinding, these are some of the best ways to generally get XP to rank up those classes and unlock their weapons. And by combining squad actions with playing the objective, whilst using those class specific gadgets, you'll be able to get those higher tier guns a lot faster, jump up on that scoreboard and even get more company coins to use on those unlocked guns too. So I hope the video helps you out guys, give me a thumbs up if it did, and subscribe to see more Battlefield content coming out in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon in our next video.